What is up, YouTube? Good to get here back out of my league rebuild, and today we are doing another perfect trade rebuilding challenge. And today it's with the Lakers. I can't believe I haven't done a perfect trade with the Lakers quite yet. The defending champions champions last season will they repeat they revamp their team by themselves so maybe that's why they didn't need a perfect trade and i didn't even think of them but let's go try and get add a player that is kind of rumored with them for a while uh a bulls player i'm a bulls fan if you guys don't know if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe make sure to drop a like on the video i know the angle changed a little bit on you guys out of nowhere let me know if you're digging it i don't know if i'm digging it right now but as i edit and i'll see this and then i'll probably try it for a couple more videos and then switch it up i don't know i might like it but if you are new here a perfect trade rebuild is one year one trade we try to figure out one trade to make this team champions. Now, I don't really even have to do anything with the Lakers. I could probably just simulate and a few times they'll win a championship without me doing anything. But I'm going to go ahead and try to make that perfect trade with the Chicago Bulls. Probably finesse my Chicago Bulls for Zach Levine. See if they are willing to give up Zach Levine. Let's get to it, though. Uh, let's get to the Bulls. Let's get to the Bulls. Propose a trade. What do we do? What would they even want for Zach Levine? He's at an 87. I doubt he's an untouchable. But, of course, we got to put in some type of salary matching, which uh, will most likely involve Contavious. We would acquire four more million dollars. Then we add Wesley Matthews. And uh, <laughs> they're about to get absolutely robbed. Who is making the least amount of money that I can bring? Oh my gosh, imagine I could steal Daniel Gafford as well. Is it pop? I mean, I'll probably give him Kuzma, to be honest. Give him Kuzma. Uh, he's the one uh, usually involved in those trade rumors where I see like, oh, Zach Levine for Kyle Kuzma. And I'm like, what? 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 How? Why? I'll add in Luke Cornett, and then we probably throw in first rounders for Zach Levine. It's not happening. He's too valuable. I get it. So we're going to give up my first rounders. Are these worth anything to me? No. And they would probably be involved in a Zach Levine trade. I don't know how many, but clearly this ain't enough. Um, he's already at small forward. I was going to cheese and try to move him to small forward. Uh, Gafford is not the move it looks like. So who do I add? What can I add? Ryan is making $3 million. All right. This is the only way I could see it happening. We're still going to keep Dennis, but we're trading away Trez. We're trading away Trez. Do I like this? Um, kind of. Not really. We're bringing in Gafford, hopefully, to, to, to ease the pain of losing Trez. And then we're adding a bunch of first. We're adding a bunch of first. Oh, we only had to add two. That's not the worst trade in the world, giving away Trez, of course. Contavious having a great season. Shooting-wise, the man. It just doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make sense. But we're going to go ahead and adjust these right here dennis zach levine lebron james anthony davis daniel gafford is starting okay gasol off the bench caruso off the bench kuzma off the bench i honestly would like dennis off the bench and then lebron starting at the one as weird as that would be but uh, it's honestly what i would like i want to give it how it is we're gonna keep it how it is we're gonna give uh, less minutes to my bench like always and uh, give old man LeBron. Oh, Marco Sol's my sixth man. That's a yikes. 38, 38 there. Zach Levine's might as well get might as well get 38, just like them. 38 minutes, and then I might as well give Dennis a little bit more too, as he is my point guard. And I don't even know what else to do. I'll give one more minute to Caruso just because I'm hoping the starting lineup is enough, especially with that big three. You would hope it is. You would hope it is with that big three. Uh, of course, we're going to go play physical defense and then try to win a championship right away year one. Uh, coaching, game plan, system proficiency, perimeter centric, seven seconds. What's it looking like? Four stars as well. Gafford, not the happiest, but everybody else is pretty damn happy. Perimeter centric, Gafford, same thing. LeBron James is damn near perfect on that one. But Gafford is a little bit happier in, uh, in seven seconds. We're going seven seconds. You guys know I love seven seconds. For some reason, I keep looking up here, which is where my face is at. But the camera's over here, so still not used to this got to get used to it don't know if i even like it uh like i said at the beginning but but that's it we're ready to go we're ready to ride this out for the first season if we don't win of course i will rebuild them until we do win it shouldn't be too difficult having lebron james anthony davis and now zach levine like uh it should not be too difficult we're gonna go ahead and start simulating this and i will see you guys at the end of season number one um so far have not dropped the game Okay, this should be a championship. 
This should be a championship. I'll see you guys at the NBA Finals. I'll see you guys in the NBA Finals. Of course, we gave up Trez. We gave up Contavious, but we got ourselves back a Zach Levine and a pretty okay Daniel Gafford. Not Giannis, not Luka, not whoever you want it to be, LeBron James. LeBron James is the most valuable player, 25, 10.9, 1.4. Now to see if we got any more awards, but 11 assists a game, eight rebounds a game with 25 points as well, while Zach Levine's probably taking a chunk of his points away. Um, I don't think he's mad. I don't think he's mad. LaMelo, 20. Those are some solid rookie of the year stats. Spencer Dinwiddie, six man. Of course, injuries are off, so he gets to play. Giannis, defensive player. And then Chris Boucher, most improved with Frank. Oh, I didn't even know we finished 71 wins. What? We gave away a little bit of depth for another star, and we finished with 71 wins. Oh, my gosh. Brooklyn who? Brooklyn who? Are they even out here on all NBA teams? There he is. Okay, there's one. There's two. And then no. Oh, Zach Levine made an all NBA third. Is that the Lakers effect? The Lakers effect going, uh, making an All-NBA team? Anthony Davis, wait, was Anthony Davis? Yeah, Anthony Davis. Wow, okay. All-NBA first. That's our stars right there. All-NBA first, All-NBA second, All-NBA third. GG's. GG's to the entire league. GG's to the entire league. Uh, Nobody on a defensive team. That kind of sucks, but 71 wins. I'm not arguing against that. Uh, this might be just a, oh, he's the leading scorer of the team. 30.7, five rebounds, 6.2 assists, one steal and a half. Do you see those shooting numbers? Do you see those shooting numbers? 50, 40, 84%. Just like that, Zach joins the team and is the leading scorer. LeBron with a 50, 40, 50, 40, 70. I don't know about 41% LeBron Jones, but damn. Okay, 23.6, 12 rebounds, four assists. A steal and a half and a block and a half, 54, 37%, uh, pretty much 38. And then Dennis, 17 and five. Kuzma, eight off the bench, six for Gafford as a starter. How many minutes is he getting? Is he like fouling out or fouls the game? He's probably fouling out a lot. A block and a half if he could get some minutes in. Uh, huh. Okay, not the best center. Still young, still learning, probably going to learn a lot, uh, especially with Gasol as his mentor and stuff like that. Five and five for Gasol. Nice assist. Part 36, our centers, our bigs are not good. Besides Anthony Davis, of course. Caruso with five. Uh, part 36, 10 and five and two. Wait, 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 wait. 10, four and five. That's not bad. That's not bad. 10 or Tucker, of course, getting the least amount of minutes down there. And then Wesley Matthews, pretty sure out of the rotation. Team stats, though, 71 wins. Then it's the Pelicans. Second? Did they make any moves? Oh, they just felt like finishing second in the Western Conference. All right, then. All right, then. Brooklyn 56. But then, like, like I said, Brooklyn who? Brooklyn who? 71 and 11? I don't. <laughs> we shouldn't lose. We shouldn't lose. We have the number two offense behind Brooklyn, the number one defense, the number one differential of 15 and a half points. LeBron Anthony Davis, if that wasn't enough, you add a 30 point scorer of Zach Levine. Yeah, we got rid of Contavious, but I would most definitely rather have Zach. Yeah, we got rid of Montrez, but I got an okay, decent replacement. Not as good as Trez, but I mean, young, young that could improve. So, thoughts on the trade? Thoughts on the trade? Trez, Contavious, two first rounders for Zach Levine, a 30 point score to add it, add it to the Lakers. I'd cry as a Bulls fan. Sure, I, I shouldn't be worried at all. Like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not worried at all. Jabari Parker, he's gonna just get destroyed. Uh, yeah, yeah, simulate round. Like, I'm not even gonna go through game by game on this one. Simulate, okay, what the heck? Sacramento with two wins. Now we're up against the Clippers. This one, of course, is a different story. Batum should get absolutely destroyed as well. Yeah. I, 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 I can't even speak. I don't know what just came out of my mouth, but Paul George has his hands full. Uh, Batum has his hands full. The Lakers have their hands full. What the heck? How do we destroy in the regular season? Okay, never mind. I, I think it's just a glitch. We're going to go 4-2, everyone. We're going to go 4-2, everyone. Now we're up against the number two New Orleans Pelicans. New Orleans. <laughs> this is so easy. This video is going to be like 10 minutes long. 10 minutes long because the Lakers are already stacked. We trade. Oh, my goodness. Okay, maybe we should look at some box scores, you know, just in case you guys are interested in box scores. But game by... Maybe it's not going to be... Oh, maybe it's not going to be 10 minutes. Wait, give me a second. Let me come back. We're going to come back for straight wins. And like I said, it's just a glitch. We're just going to 4-2 every...
Now I'm starting to believe it is a glitch. We have 4-2'd everybody. We're up against the Nets. I talk trash to them. Will, uh, will my trash talking work? Will my trash talking work? Or am I about to get burned right here? KD through the playoffs, averaging 26. James Harden through the playoffs, averaging 24 and a half. 30 for Kyrie Irving and 7 assists. Now, now, they have a better bet. They got Paul Millsap. Oh, what a nice little addition. What the heck? Spencer Dinwiddie, Paul Millsap, Jeff. What did they trade? Oh, Joe Harris. Joe's gone. They just traded Joe like he was nothing. And Mon Shumpert already on the team. Okay, okay, okay. Now I'm going to look at my playoff stats so far. Playoff statistics. Zach still doing his thing. Of course, defense gets to, uh, uh, quite a bit tougher in these playoffs in real life. But, uh, okay, Anthony Davis making up for it. Anthony Davis, point-wise, making up for it. Uh, LeBron, finals LeBron about to appear, though. So, I shouldn't be too worried. From four in the regular season to three, we will take that. And his numbers jump because of it. Because you're available and you're out there on the floor. But here we go, game by... I haven't even changed any defensive settings like I usually do when I'm trying to actually truly win. Because I'm not too confident in my team. But this time, I'm beyond confident. We might drop two games. Or we're going to 4 0 we're going to 4-0 them. It's done. 71 wins by just trading for Zach. I traded for one player. Yeah, I got rid of two, uh, like, 80 overalls. Got a 77 uh, uh, center right back. But, I mean, Zach Levine just became the leading scorer of the Lakers off rip. Just like it was nothing. A certified bucket just came in took over the leading scoring role. Well, we take it in Brooklyn. There's a minute left and we're up by four points. I might just take it my, oh. I don't want to play overtime. I'm going to be honest. I don't want to go in there and play overtime. See, it started in overtime. Nobody scored. Nobody scored. Okay, and it's done. It's done. 15 minutes, 15 minutes, 15 seconds left. Here we are. Give it to LeBron James for another ring. A back-to-back -back ring, putting them higher. Putting them higher and higher in the GOAT status. GG's to everyone. Perfect trade rebuild. Like I said, it wasn't going to be difficult. Even if I lost in this first season, did I just... <laughs> he still made that. I am... Um, should I have done that? No. But screw it. <laughs> but screw it. The disrespect was real right there. LeBron, Dennis, happy. Mark, happy. Another ring for himself as well. Gafford and Zach Levine cheering together. They both came over in that Bulls trade. Uh, they're celebrating together. Their ring, their first ring, Zach Levine balling. Don't think he's going to get finals MVP. It would be an absolute shocker if he got finals MVP. Most definitely going to LeBron James or Anthony Davis. GG's to everyone. Who is holding that trophy? Good thing I didn't get rid of Dennis because we really wouldn't have a point guard or a starting small forward. I don't know what I would do. I guess Contavious at small forward if I didn't trade away Contavious. But Anthony Davis is the finals MVP. Season score is Zach Levine. MVP is LeBron James. Finals MVP goes to Anthony Davis. Everybody balling. Everybody balling. Everybody eats. And it's GG's to the rest of the league because we finished 71 wins. And I mean, Anthony Davis and Zach Levine still relatively young. Entering his prime in Anthony Davis. Year by year, Zach Levine still improving. And they didn't win one game. And they did not win one game. Game one, Zach Levine scores 30 with six rebounds and 10 assists. Zach Levine scores 39 with four rebounds and seven assists. Zach Levine scores 38, eight and six. <sighs> Give him the finals MVP. Game four, he scores 17. Oh my gosh. I think if he had a solid game seven, I mean game four, <laughs> just because it was the last game. But God damn. Those are Zach Levine's final numbers. If he didn't completely choke it at, at, in game four with 17 points, he could have taken a finals MVP. 31 points, 6.5 rebounds, 6.8 assists, one steal, and almost a block a game. Anthony Davis ended up taking it with two steals and two blocks, of course, with 12 rebounds and 29 points. But I'm sure Zach was right there. There's the roster. Like I said, we didn't do much. We didn't have to do much. Even if I lost in this first season, I would probably come back and win a championship with minimal moves. I was just surprised I hadn't done a perfect trade rebuild with the Los Angeles Lakers because I guess they could still use a little bit more... They could all, any team could always use a little bit more. Whether that be more depth, whether that be adding another star, who knows if they do anything this season. They might like their squad right now. But like I was saying, drop that like. Subscribe if you are new. Comment down below any challenges, anything you'd like to see on the channel. If it's a challenge, if it's another perfect trade rebuild with a team that you want to see that I have not done. Let me know. I'm open, always open to ideas. But as always, guys, thanks for watching.